At this university in London, students have joined their professors on strike. They're holding alternative lectures, and I've been invited to talk about who else but Karl Marx. What could possibly be relevant about the ideas of Karl Marx for the 21st century? In an age of machines, Karl Marx was obsessed with them. Marx saw the replacement of labor by machinery as the route to human liberation from hunger, poverty, and ignorance. Today, we are going through a third industrial revolution, the age of information, robotics, and artificial intelligence. And in one remarkable document, Marx actually predicts the impact of rapid automation. In a notebook called The Grundrisse, Marx asks what's the end point going to be of this whole process of automation. For the capitalists, he says, the ideal machine is going to be one that either lasts forever or costs zero to produce. To achieve that, you're going to need huge advances, not just in machinery, but also in organisation and knowledge. And Marx says you're going to end up with knowledge being socialised into what he calls a general intellect. Marx's theory of history goes like this. At each stage, the economic structure of society has to match the technology and the work routines needed to operate the technology. This combination of technology plus economic structure form a foundation on which ideas, religions, laws and cultures are built. A legal and political superstructure. At some point, the technology outgrows the economic structure and then begins an era of social revolution. In the past 20 years, information technology has changed almost everything about the world we live in and it leaves the question hanging just as Marx posed it. If information is everywhere and shared and abundant, why should a few people own it? Why do we have information monopolies at all? That's the question posed by Facebook's current crisis after the data of millions of people was misused to try and rig elections. Marx couldn't predict the rise of the internet, but he did predict what would happen if information became socialised and generally shared. It would blow the foundations of capitalism sky high. So you could say Facebook's crisis is a nice 200th birthday present for Karl Marx. Thank <laughs> you.